Hey, this is Chad. I just want to go into a little detail for those of you that are curious um, about how the address is verified. It, it may not have occurred to you, but um, it's it's pretty simple. You know, when you look on a map, so if I type in a zip code or something, and it shows uh, that I'm inside the area. Well, visually, this is very easy to to, to determine, right? I um, uh, I can see the point and it's in the blue area, it's inside the boundaries um, and uh, piece of cake, right? But uh, mathematically it's something different. Uh, it's hard to, um, or it's not real um, obvious. How would you determine is this point in or out? So in JavaScript or the scripting that's being used, uh, how does it know that I'm in versus out? Because um, really all mathematically all we have to deal with are points on a map we're not dealing with um, you know the visual aspects of it so we have you see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve about twelve points so imagine if I could just remove these lines and just show the points where the the vertices or whatever of this polygon are are being displayed and then you have another point that's kind of in the middle of that um, basically what what happens is uh, you, you have to go back to trigonometry or algebra and um, and use some formulas that define a line so uh, one something that happens is uh, mathematically we define a line that goes vertically through this or it could be anywhere it doesn't have to be vertical it would just be any direction but uh, I define a line that goes right through this point uh, where the zip code is located or this point on the map and then uh, I go through each of the, the uh, I pair up the um, uh, points or these latitude and longitude points on the map and so from here to here this is a line so if we extended this line all the way through and we kept going through these points this line would extend forever in uh, both directions and then what we do is see where or if this line that I defined earlier intersects this long line here okay and then I determine is this point to the which side is it on the left or right side of that line and then we go to the next set of points from here to here so here's another line that goes infinitely in these directions and I compare it to this line and where does it intersect and and uh, in fact I might, even, might not even it's been a while since I've uh, uh, worked on this as far as um, the original uh, this this code I've had to update it to work with the version 3 of Google Maps but um, I wrote this code probably uh, I don't know five years ago and um, I borrowed it from, uh, I found it online, an, an example, and I had to tweak it for my own purposes, but um, so I can't take the original uh, uh, credit for it, but um, this method anyway. And um, anyway, you go through each of these lines and you have to determine where is it on the left or on the right, you know, and then you go through each one, and depending on if you end up with an even number or an odd number, it, it, it that tells you with uh, whether it's inside or outside and uh, in fact I probably didn't describe it very well but I, but I just wanted to uh, show you that it isn't as easy as it looks I guess and um, and that this is a pretty unique pretty unique plugin so uh, if you're interested you could always uh, if you know HTML or how to hack around uh, looking at JavaScript on a web page you can uh, pull that up and check it out. In fact, let me just do that now. Hold on. Okay, so here's the source and I have a function here called is inside and it returns either true or false. So it takes all the points or the coordinates on the map and it takes the position of the actual uh, point that's being checked. So this would be the address of the user. It goes through all the points and then it calls this B intersect and it passes all the point information to it. This is where the, all that trig or algebra happens is we, we're dealing with the formula for a line which is Y equals MX plus B and uh, we're solving for B and um, based on uh, 
certain values again <laughs> it's been a while and uh, uh, it will it records a hit uh, or is this left right is this um, in fact, so when I, you might be able to go through this and figure it out if you're good with math and uh, see what's going on here but um, it just loops through all these um, and then whether it is so we have a left and a right and we're doing the, the what you call the modulus meaning is this is there anything left over what's the remainder so it tells us if it's even or odd and if it is an odd number I guess based on what I'm seeing here I believe it is inside else uh, it's false meaning uh, it's it's outside the polygon so anyway um, that's just for fun um, so uh, those of you that are math uh, in the math and JavaScript and that type of thing um, you know I can't really again it's uh, this this stuff right here and some of this I believe came from I googled it uh, a long time ago and found this method of finding is a point inside or outside of a polygon so um, feel free to um, do your own research and use it however you like. Thanks.